All right, let's get to Blake Matthews joining us now with exactly uh, to talk a little bit more about a bomb cyclone and exactly what that is and why it's such a big deal. I've never heard of this, Blake. Yeah, you know, it's one of those systems that really deepens rapidly, and that really is where this is, uh, the term bomb comes from. It's bombing out. It's really, really deepening on a rapid, rapid uh, scale here, and that is uh, something we don't normally see out here on the West Coast. In fact, this is one of the strongest systems ever observed off the West Coast of Washington, a pressure down to 942 millimeters. Bars, the lower that pressure goes, the stronger the storm is. So this was equivalent to basically a Category 4 hurricane out in the open waters of the Pacific Ocean. It is bringing a ton of rain still from Seattle into Portland and areas down into California and the Sierra Nevadas. So here, once again, it is defined by a rapid drop in pressure. We're talking about equivalent pressure here of a very strong hurricane, and it has really kicked up the seas as well over the last 24 hours. In fact, if you watch 43, 46 feet out there at one of the buoys in the Pacific Ocean, and basically everywhere you look, it's about the same 30 to 50 foot waves, winds 40, 50, 60 miles per hour. And here's a closer look at the radar, bringing some heavy rain from Vancouver to Seattle on down into the Portland area and into Northern California as well. You can see how the rain transitions over to very heavy snow and the higher elevations here of the Sierra Nevadas from Lake Tahoe all the way down towards Mammoth Lakes. Now, this system is going to affect our weather here in Texas as well as a big piece of energy breaks off of that cyclone and begins to work its way here into North Texas. Translation, we have a chance of strong to severe thunderstorms as we head into Tuesday night into Wednesday. And we've got that full forecast and the timing all for you coming up in your full forecast.